Hey, in this episode of Doc's Boost, it's all about replacing that rear motor mount, a.k.a. the transmission mount. You know, the one at the end of the transmission. How would I know if I need a rear mount? <laughs> Great question. Any one of these symptoms may be the rear mount. New or more frequent clunking going on around the car, especially under the hood or underneath the car. Thuds coming from under the car while driving. Or vibrations that seem to just get worse. In general, bad mount can damage the car or some of the engine's parts and components. Some things that can cause them to fail include weathered mounts, especially here in Arizona. The heat just kills rubber. Impact damage, such as an accident. Hot oil saturating the mount constantly softens it up and they fail. And my favorite, driving hard, doing all those burnouts that I do, being on the racetrack, just driving the wheels off of the car. In other words, driving the piss out of the car can cause mounts to fail. You may be feeling the need for a new engine mount right now. But before we get started, make sure that you click the like button, subscribe and ring that bell to set the notifications for all the new content coming your way. It really does matter and I appreciate the support. socket sizes that you're going to need for this job is an 18 millimeter, a 15 millimeter, and a 13 millimeter. So let's get under the car and do the damn thing. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the frame bolts. One, two, three, and four. 15 millimeter here, 13 right down the center. Looks like that's going to be a hand job. I know I said hand job, but please don't go there. That's not what this. That's not what kind of video this is, right? All right, so we need to break them loose. Ow. Three. And we might as well go ahead and loosen up all of them at once before we switch to the power tool. I see a lot of people use that Milwaukee uh, half inch impact, electric impact. Yeah. Seems to work pretty good. I guess I'll have to get one. Uh. All right, so all the bolts are loose. We're going to take these three out completely, the two nuts here and the bolt there, and then we got to get the jack under the transmission before we actually remove these bolts because we don't need to have everything falling down on us. Ouch. Even as obvious as that may be, <laughs> I, I want to make sure that you understand that, all right? Make your life a whole lot easier. Yeah, it's like an erector set. Well, you guys are probably too young to know what that means. Yeah. Legos, Legos. All right, so there's that. And I can take, let me let me go ahead and do a couple of bolts before we get the jack under there to hold the transmission up. Okay, now let's get the jack under there to support the transmission. All right, you can stop. Now that we have the, the jack is fully supporting the transmission, we'll take the last two bolt, bolts out. Oh, man. <laughs> All 
All right, so there, so there's the mount right there. Let's take it out and we're gonna replace this mount. I don't see it broken. That's it. That's too bad. Visually inspect it. But even if it's not cracked, yeah, it's, it could be weakened. Yeah, it's, see it's cracked, it's failed in the middle. Oh yeah, it did. We're gonna put these in here just so it doesn't fall out. And then put this back in place. Put this one up the middle. Run these up. And we can move the jack out of the way. All right, so we're almost done with the job. We just want to make sure that everything is tight. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Good. new motor mount is now in we're good so that was an easy task and there's not a whole lot to it we didn't take a whole lot of time to do the job the motor mounts were placed and we're ready to rock and roll all we had to do is put it on the ground hey so if you <laughs> so if you haven't already done this now's a great time to click the like button subscribe and ring that bell to set all the notifications for all the new content coming your way Remember to put a comment down below right here on the YouTube comment section. Talk about your last project so we can start a conversation about the last time you had to lift your car up and crawl under there for some kind of maintenance, right? And that's all I got for you in this episode. We'll see you in the next.